Hi, this is Katherine Scott with DrillingContractor.org. I'm here on the exhibit floor of the 2013 SPE IEDC Drilling Conference and Exhibition in Amsterdam. I'm speaking with Tony Pink, VP of Drilling Automation Applications for NOV. We're going to be talking today about the NOVA initiative. Thanks for joining us, Tony. Well, thanks a lot. Can you just start by telling me a little bit more about the NOVA initiative? Yeah, NOVA uh, basically stands for uh, National Well Barco Automation. It's the umbrella project. It's owned by the Chief Technology Officer over everything that we're doing with automation in the, in, in the oil industry. Underneath that, there's three main se sections, which are uh, the rig equipment themselves, uh, Novos, which is our new um, operating system, which is the control platform that enables automation and enables everybody else in the world to plug in. You know, and one of the things we're here with the Society of Petroleum Engineers event here was the industry asked for it to, this to be built, and we've kind of acted as the uh, the integrator. The second part of the system is uh, Nemesis, which is the, the downhole component of it. And Nemesis is everything from the top drive to the drill bit. And again, open architecture. Uh, Schlumberger, who are just across the way here, or Baker or Halliburton that are surrounding us here in the building, they can all plug their tools and equipment, their software into the uh, bottom of the system. So it's a, it's a uh, surface equipment, uh, control system and down, downhole tools. Very interesting. Cool. So it was launched though in spring of 2012. Yeah, the, our main launch was at uh, OTC okay. uh, in May in, uh, in Houston. Okay. And we, we, we had the launch at the booth, but we took uh, a lot of interested customers down to a rig that we had live running with it in uh, Galena Park in, uh, in Houston. And the, the guys got a chance to uh, press the button and the rig drilled itself for uh, 94 feet. We, uh, we had about 500 feet of cement, and so we just kept drilling and filling up the cement, but it was completely autonomous. And uh, once they do it, it's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> so what other applications have you used the NOVA issue? So uh, applications that we have uh, running today, are the, the main one is uh, True Drill. So what True Drill does is it takes uh, downhole weight on bit data from uh, uh, a drilling dynamic sub. It then transfers that up at uh, 87 hertz, 87 points a second. That comes into the control system, and then it is that information is translated and passed directly to the drill works. So once it's enabled, the driller is not involved in the process. As, as it grew, what we did is in the end we gave him a tablet, so even though the downhole weight on bit was directly controlling the draw works, he had the ability with the tablet to set the set points. So he feel, still felt he was engaged in part of the process, even though it was automated. And the, and the drill crew uh, out in the field uh, in Ohio really embraced it. And rather than you're thinking sometimes of automation that the humans would be scared of it, they embraced it really, really quickly, which is kind of cool. Perfect. So what specific um, activities can be performed with the NOVA initiative? T today is on-bottom automated uh, drilling. Uh, there's a driller stand, so effectively you can, uh, as soon as you engage it, the rig will drill, get, will go on bottom, turn on the pumps, drill a stand, uh, and then pick up and uh, be ready to make the connection. As we move forward, we have uh, apps that will be moving into commerciality over the next six months, which are um, uh, mechanical specific energy optimization, which is putting the right amount of rig energy into the maximum ROP. Uh, we're then building a vibration management app. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, automated fluid control, managed pressure drilling. And we've just done a proposal to one of the major operators where we stage that in over the next uh, nine months. So they're probably going to give us a rig that runs for a whole year. And we can just, as, as these apps get to field test stage, we'll just slowly start uh, introducing them. The field test program, uh, we're, we're on our, we've done three now. Um, the first one was to test, could we do it? Uh, the second one was to uh, uh, do the fir world's first high-speed control of surface machines. And then the one that we just finished about a month ago uh, in Ohio was to um, prove the value. So in doing this, 
can we save the operators uh, money? We haven't finished analyzing all the data, but it was pretty clear. We can, we can drill 30 to 40 percent faster in rotary and maybe more than 100 percent in sliding. So there's some, there's some really big benefits. Great. Well, it all sounds very interesting. Cool. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Tony. My, my pleasure. Thank you. And this has been Captain Scott for drillingcontractor.org. Thank you for joining us.